What's up you guys? Welcome back to the fame, and Ginger Duggar revealed her single sister Jana turned down multiple suitors through the years despite being showered with lavish gifts and vacations. In Ginger and her husband Jeremy Vuolo's new book, The Hope We Hold, Finding Peace in the Promises of God, she revealed she and her sisters were constantly asked out because of their reality show. Ginger wrote, some of them were people we knew from church or the homeschooling community, or they visited our home back in the days when we welcomed fans as visitors. She continued that some men were crazy and creepy. The mom of two continued, others were complete strangers who mailed letters and packages to our post office box. I understood it came with the territory when you're a teenage girl on a reality show, but sometimes it was crazy and a little creepy. At one point, at least 25 guys had asked about me or my sisters within a couple of months alone. I didn't take most of the letters seriously, given that they were from strangers, or sometimes even from men in prison. I'm sure some of them were sweet, well-meaning guys who loved the Lord, but I wasn't going to get in a relationship with someone who didn't know me or anyone in my family. She then wrote about Jana, who has been dubbed Cinderella Duggar by fans because she is the only adult daughter not married. Ginger penned. Another guy mailed Jana the strangest packages. A sample-size Yankee candle wrapped in box after box like a Russian doll, for instance. He even invited her on a trip to Disney World, provided she paid her own way. Because of the amount of suitors, Jim Bob would vet the men before having them meet his daughters. She wrote. My parents had decided that if a guy was interested in any of us girls, they had to talk to my dad before they could start getting to know us on a deeper level. Inevitably, after a guy hung around our house, dad would pop into the girls' room. Hey, Ginge, so this guy reached out to me, he'd say. He told me he was interested in you. Are you interested in getting to know him? No, I'd say almost every time. No, no, no. I don't think so, I'm not interested in him. I didn't turn down guys left and right for no reason. I genuinely didn't believe there was potential with these guys. Dad didn't pressure me, and whatever I said was the final word. As the fame previously reported from the memoir, Jeremy wrote about his experience courting Ginger, including how he filled out a 50-page questionnaire given to him by the patriarch in an effort to get to know him better. After four months of the patriarch and Jeremy talking, Jim Bob told him, Jeremy, I'm so sorry. But I don't think I can let you pursue my daughter. This theology seems to be a deal breaker. Jeremy was able to change Jim Bob's mind and the two married in 2016 after a courtship. Right now you guys I want to know what you think about this news. Share all your thoughts in the comment section below. Bye guys.